the one man band that he's put together is an absolute jewel. You know, I think it's brilliant. It's not everybody that likes it, I don't, I, you know, but for me, and I know a lot of people, it's, you know, is the business. You know, the fact that he, he's honed that sound, he's built all the stuff to go around it, and uh, it's, he's, obviously, he's looked at people like um, Jesse Fuller and people like that, you know, um, and looked at how they went about it but he's very much built up his own sort of kit if you like and his own sound you know i mean it's not just a carbon copy of um dr ross and jesse fuller and people like that he's really sort of honed it you know i mean those bass keys on the the organ thing and things like that and i think it's tremendous what he does you know it's a song of mississippi
Me father uh, used to collect 78s and uh, he inherited a new radiogram. Quite a lot of records with it, and he just used to allow me to, to play around with it in those days. Um, they, were, they were loosely termed as jazz, sort of big Bill Brunsy, lead belly stuff, which was quite common, plain lemon Jefferson. And I used, to, I used to play around with the radiogram, and that was the first music I heard. In fact, I never, when, when I eventually got my own little record player as a teenager, um, I never used the 45 switch on it till the first Stone single. I mean, that, that was as long as it took us to use a 45 switch. Um, but basically, my me, me father, me father was a, a pianist, more or less a, a crooner, but he did play harmonica as well, but he played chromatic. So there was always a chromatic harmonica lying around. And uh, quite often um, I, would, I would try and play that, but I, I couldn't get away with that at all. Play any tunes on it, no problem, but I, I couldn't play any blues. Uh, I played piano. I went to several piano lessons, and uh, but my uncle was a really good pianist on my mother's side because he was stationed with a black artillery, artillery regiment after the Second World War in Germany. And uh, most um, most uh, most um, artillery regiments were, like I say, were were completely black, the American ones, and great boogie players. And he, he went away playing an accordion. That that was his first instrument. But he came back back playing boogie woogie piano. So he was a big influence on us, you know. And, and, I, and I tried to play boogie woogie and. Uh, I didn't have the span. I mean, I just, I just couldn't reach, you know, eight notes on it. Um, and that, that was basically it in the, in 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 the early days until um, until I heard Jesse Fuller. Well, we are related. Um, he's a second or a third cousin. Did you ask me this, by the way? <laughs> His grandfather and my grandfather. They were both called Henry Mullen, and they were first cousins, so I believe. That's the connection. My grandfather was a serious drinker, and his grandfather was not. I don't know if that tells you anything, but there you go. Actually, didn't hear Jesse Fuller first. I heard Donovan first, who was playing a Jesse Fuller song. And then through through Donovan, I got hooked into Bob Dylan, and of course he was playing all these things that I'd recognised from seven years, Booker White songs. So this is around what, what period of time? Oh, this is um, this is the late sixties. I was born in '48, and it was late sixties. Uh, all my pals were playing in bands, all playing guitars. Uh, I played piano, and I couldn't get in a band that time because they were all sort of shadows bands, you know. <laughs> two guitars, a bass and a drums, you know, and that was it. So no, they had no need for a, a piano player. Um, but but when, when I first heard Jesse Fuller songs, I wanted to play guitar. And uh, I learned three chords off, off a guy over the road. And I come, come back to our house and I thought, right, I'll, I'll adapt these to San Francisco Bay Blues. And I didn't know it was a five chord progression. I only remembered two of the chords, so I had to make. I had to start making chords up. Now I used to, I used to watch this guy playing, uh, the the fellow who lived over the road, and I sort of done a mirror image on him. And I used to play all my chords backwards, and I still do. I play them all the wrong way around. And I've got a funny configuration with the fingers. It's it's it, but it's been a bit of a plus because it's it's quite a. Uh, economic style of playing. You don't need to use everything. And uh, it was the same when I graduated to bottleneck it. When I first started playing bottleneck it, uh, there's nobody around to teach you bottleneck in those days, you know. Everybody thought it was a flat Hawaiian guitar that was going on on record. It was actually bottleneck right, playing. Upstairs. Yeah, yeah.
Take that. Be a person. 